Hey guys, Dan from DC Brakes here. I'm going to give you a run through of our very first plugin, Halo. Combining resample synthesis with highly flexible but easy to use modulation, FX, and distortion, Halo is a groundbreaking hybrid synth, sampler, and rockler in one. Choose from over 300 carefully crafted presets covering basses, leads, pads, FX, and drums, or throw in your own samples and run your audio through the Halo engine. So let's dive in and see what Halo's all about. The main interface of Halo is divided into several panels. Each panel contains quick and easy controls. Click on a panel and the center window will now display additional controls. To access the preset browser, we click the preset button. From here we can browse by genre, preset type, save new presets, add favorites and more. Each preset is made up of a combination of a sample, a sub and a synth layer. We can access each sound generator on the left side. The combination of these layers, as well as the effects, distortion and modulation, allows Halo to create sounds that have real weight, body and movement. Let's have a look at the filter section. We have a low pass filter, a notch filter and a high pass filter. We can control the Q value and the LFO amount from the filter panel. Each filter has its own dedicated LFO and in the filter center panel we can access additional LFO controls including rate, shape, offset and rate modulation. Used in combination with each other, the filters and their LFOs will add huge movement to any sound. After the filter panel is the distortion section, where we can add warmth, drive, or crush the sound as much as we like with our own custom wave shaper controlled from the center panel. Simply move the nodes or create more to begin experimenting with the wave shaper. By clicking preset, we can load a pre-made distortion preset from the browser. We'll save our own. Clicking the random button will generate a totally new wave shape for us to try out. The post filter section sits after the distortion modules and can be used to add one of five different filter modes consisting of low pass, high pass, notch, peak, and an all pass filter. Let's grab a different preset so we can hear how the filters sound with a different patch. On the FX panel, we can access reverb, delay, phaser, and chorus. As always, additional controls will appear in the center panel when we click a section. These include, amongst others, high and low cuts, and a bit crusher added to the delay signal. A simple output panel controls the master gain and the stereo width. Beneath 
is the AHDSR volume envelope. Below the envelope sits the modulation section, including two drawable LFOs and a stepper. The same preset system we have for the wave shaper also applies to the LFOs. As does the random generator button. We can easily switch between envelope and loop mode and easily route any of the modulators to the filters, the master volume or the master pitch. Furthermore, almost all of the controls in Halo can be assigned to a modulator via a simple right-click system. We can also assign any control to the X and Y macros. Click on the matrix button to enter the modulation matrix and tweak the modulation ranges or invert the signal. Halo features two EQ sections. Use the tone panel to quickly dial in a low or a high shelf or click on master EQ to access a more sophisticated parametric EQ. The picture panel features an easy to use pitch envelope so we can quickly add movement to our sounds. One of the most exciting features of Halo is that it is not a closed system. Users are free to add their own samples by clicking the custom button within the sample panel. Simply drag and drop your sample into the window, change the start and end points, and loop or reverse the sample. When back in factory mode, you can change the start point of the sample map, reverse it, or even switch it out for a completely different sample map by using the drop down menu or the random button to randomly select a completely different sample map whilst retaining all the FX, processing, and modulation of your existing patch. That's it for this walkthrough. We've barely scratched the surface, so stay tuned to the DC Breaks YouTube channel for more Halo content. Thanks for watching.